Hey Plus Tube, it's Kerry and Stitches. It's Thursday the 24th of May and this is video number 19. This is like take 45. It's, it's a disaster today. So we're just going to have to see how we go. I'm, I'm trying to look at the camera lens rather than the camera screen and I'm really struggling today. So if I have a slightly cross-eyed skew look to me, yeah. It's nothing new really. Um, my coffee has gone cold. I was doing really well on my last floss tube and then my husband rang me. And then I was going to try and splice it all together or get him to do it. Then I just thought, oh, just re record the whole thing. It's quicker. Quicker than lots and lots and lots and lots of editing. So here we go. Take 46. I feel like I need to go and borrow my son's clapperboard and do that. Um, I hope you've all had a good stitchy fortnight. It's been a fairly normal one for us. College work, 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 kids stuff. It's been lovely sunshine. It's been really nice just having doors and windows open and pottering in and out of the garden and all those kind of really nice things that you like to do in the sun, in the warm weather. We've been for walks and bike rides and um, just coming home from school is really pleasant. So, well, it won't be Friday because they are closing the main route um, to the school so it's going to go it's about a mile and a half to my daughter's school they're closing the main road while they install a new railway bridge oh yes um, and that means it's going to be probably a good three to four miles to school but bearing in mind that this road that they're closing takes traffic from the motorway to not only to where we live but to lots of places including on the other it's part of the link to one of the only uh, three river crossings across the city um, it links the whole of the west side of the city and beyond including several small towns so the volume of traffic that's going to be coming off the motorway and going around the way that we need to go to get to the school it's going to be horrendous I, we think it's going to take rather than the usual 20 minutes because traffic's always bad anyway it's going to take us best part of an hour to get to school on friday so and then we have to cycle back the long way but hey keeps me fit ish and it's all downhill there's not much effort really um so it's been that's what it's been, it's been like i'm off to the, that's fortnight. I'm off to the theatre tonight to see Legally Blonde the musical with some friends up in Birmingham. So at the um, Alexandra Theatre, that'll be good fun. Uh, I'm going to just rearranging myself again because of my interruptions. Um, I was going to do. No, I am. Wasn't my FFOs? Oh yes, I FFO'd. to see the back of one of them okay i am going to whip through this as quickly as possible what five minutes for the last video i reckon it's probably going to take a little bit longer this time um my count is at 23 i am super pleased with how that how many i've done so far and i've got the stuff in the house to do another 23 30 i've got stuff in the house to do another six i think um i've got three three canvases and i have got and like three canvases one flat fold and i've got all the mount board and fabric for that and one frame yes six six to do and then i've got three that i still need to get stuff for so that's not bad going sorry one i need to find something for which i already have and two that I need to buy frames for and one frame I haven't found one frame I've found but it's out of my budget at the moment um because it's for the big sampler so I need a massive I think 16 inch by 20 inch frame for it so unfortunately that's out of the budget this month because I've because it is some months these things happen don't they um so at least I've but I've seen it where I've, I've, I know where I'm going to get it from I'm happy that it, I, sh I shouldn't be able to get. I shouldn't have any problems getting it next month. 
and then that will be done and I just need to find my sewing machine foot pedal because I can't do that to do the month's wall hanging until I find it. It's in the garage somewhere. So those and I need to find a, uh, I want a, a five inch square black frame for the giraffe silhouette and I haven't found one yet. I found some four inch square frames, I found six inch square frames, no five yet. But we have got, um, sorry, itchy eyes. Uh, I, think, hey, I think I'm getting hay fever again this year. I don't get it badly, but I do get itchy eyes and itchy nose and I haven't bought any antihistamines yet. And I probably ought to go to the chemist and buy some. She says having more past four today. Oh, right. Anyhow, tangent. Um, yeah, so, but I have got a shop, a, a dedicated frame shop in town that's actually really quite reasonable too, that I haven't tried yet. So, um, I'm happy to kind of just keep that on the back burner and as soon as I see one, I will buy it because it's not going to be particularly expensive. I just haven't seen one that fits yet. I found a red one and debated that, no, I think even the red one was five inch, it was a six inch one. Anywho, yeah. Right. Uh, Cross It's Crazy cover kit, uh, Emma Congdon design, done and dusted. We Little Stitches, Gilmore Girls, done. I, think, I know they need ribbons and things. Cross Stitch uh, cover kit, done. Needs a ribbon. Hot Fuzz, We Little Stitches, done. Big Bang Theory, We Little Stitches. Done. Little alphabet over stitched over one on 28 count I found on Pinterest. Um, yes, I have checked the source of it. I can't remember what it is, but I have checked the source because I went through my Pinterest boards and deleted anything that I thought was a bit of an iffy source. Uh, Mouse Loft Seahorse. Um, Dacre patch paper onto uh, a little canvas and then just the mounted like that that's not going to last forever that one but hey I don't mind it's not an expensive one the mid tiny dragon oh. just finished on cardboard with a magnet I'm hoping it's going to be um, strong enough to take a needle uh, cross stitch crazy cover kit no sorry cross stitch cover kit um, just blanket stitched into the heart. The design was stitched using waste canvas, possibly soluble, soluble canvas actually, it was soluble canvas. Um, and then onto that beaded and then just blanket stitched. Just a little dinky key ring, a little experiment with some colorists. May ATC, it's a Leslie Tear design, tear design from um, World of Cross Stitch, probably. That's going in the mail tomorrow. Friendship Grows, it's a Lizzie Cape freebie. Totally made up colours, stitched on yellow Ada with some really, really pretty Becky fabric. Don't ask me what the making stuff is of fabric. I'm useless at that kind of stuff. I know that there are, like, there's, there's a fabric designers and all that, and there are some, like, really sought after ones, but unless it's Liberty, that's probably about my limit. Um, Celtic Cross by Textile Heritage. Found a frame in the garage. Jobs are good. Un. Tea and Cakes by Doreen Jones. The South for Lakeside Needlecraft. I laced that one and then just kind of just shoehorned it in the back. But at least it stands up and it's, it's fairly sturdy. So works. It was the frame that I'd intended for that one anyway. That frame was from Tiger and cost like three quid. Um, the robin from cross stitcher just came with the two pieces of felt so it's all been sandwiched together with a bit of ribbon that's going for my mum for my mum for christmas i might add a little bell or something charm or something there holly berry leaves something like that but i haven't decided um bookmark the, this is japanese bookmark by anchor for the victorian albert collection just felt felt backed with just some little mini pom-pom trim from paper chase Blackwork, Birdsong, uh, DMC kit, um, ghetto, ghetto canvas framed. 
Um, I am thinking of putting black ribbon around the edge of that. Uh, anchor kit um, finished into a coaster of Pluto. Drawn thread keeper. That's that's the winter keeper. Just sewn up together. Uh, tiny Christmas sow by Amada Designs. Just hooped. I really enjoyed doing the hoop, even though they're quite time consuming. I did enjoy doing the hoops. Um, Geisha from eons ago from cross stitcher, just iron on interfacing, and the double sided the, the one with the paper as well. I forget what that one's called. Just did that, I literally just sandwiched it all together and stitched some buttons on because I can't find my sewing machine foot. And then this one you haven't seen at all. Wasn't on the list, but it got added. So this is the flag that I was stitching for the Royal Wedding. I'd only done that bit up until that point. So obviously I finished it. Um, and then did the other side. Stitched the heart while sat in the dentist waiting room with the kids. Shoved some beads on it because, well, it's a crown and crowns are blingy. Um, and then blanket stitched it together as kind of sort of shown um, on the design. The design was only supposed to be like a one-sided one, but I was going to make it a double-sided one because, well, because. There we go. Right then, let's put that lot back in the box. Get the lot on the wall. Um, the last one is the biscorner that I was going to stitch for the Great Biscorner Swap. It's um, by the Victoria Sampler. It's a free design called Jazz Tuffet off their website. Um, so it's got a bit of black work. It's stitched on it's a remnant off cut, random size piece uh, in the clearance at Lakeside Needlecraft. And it was one that was done especially for one of their stitch alongs. And I forget what the fabric's called. It's 32 count, even we can tell you that much. But it's lovely. It works so nicely. Um, that's the variegated thread, that's Anchor 1335 and I forget what its name is but I thought it was pretty and springy um, and then it's just got a bit of yellow DMC, uh, white, yellow and green DMC and two don't ask me which ones, I can't remember let's go 725, I've got three yellows on the table at the moment so I can't even think of it 725 and 912, there we go, I'm making up numbers now, might be 911 I don't know, making up numbers Anyway, finished with a button and some mill heel beads around the edge and that's going in the post tomorrow. Big post run tomorrow. So anybody waiting for a chart from me from last time, I will post tomorrow because I've got to go to the post office for work. I've got to go to the post office to post swaps and I'm going to go and do it all in one go and hold everybody up because, well, it's fun. Okay, let's put my list over there. Where are we at now? Whips. So ATC and the Biscornu took up a lot of my stitching time. So I did a little bit more on uh, Main Street Bookstore. So, uh, Going to have big, some big changes. Well, I've already started doing some changes on the top window. Um, I'm going to use the windows from the next floors down windows from another one of the um, designs to do uh, to make them look more like sash windows. And then, or I may just put a line across and make my own look of sash windows, I don't know. Um, and then I worked on Stone Street Stitchworks, The Royal Wedding. I have two pieces of fabric sat here the same size and I didn't know which one it was. There we go, that's all I've done because I was really into the flag. That's the start, I've, made, I've changed the colors a bit. It's the same palette, just in a, a different order. my list says do some stitching make some stuff because that's pretty much it um, I am planning on well I would really one thing I would really like to this month other than working on um, what's it called yeah that one Main Street is I would really like to get the border finished on my lady's garden 
from by stitchers and again a French stitcher on arm for like so I need a craft cell. I'm rubbish at cells. I really am. I'm okay with the kind of if you've got your own project stitch along kind of thing. But I'm not very good at being other than the odd like one day. I'm not very good at kind of keeping up with things. So hey ho. So I'd like to get the border done on that and the wisteria border that goes in. Would you like to see what it looks like? Because I bet a lot of you have forgotten what it might have looked like back in the dark ages when it was first first came out. Why oh, you can't because I can't find it. There we go. So I'd I'd love to get all that done. I've got a lot of it in place already, at least half stitched, so Hopefully I can get that done. That would be really, really good. Because I think the flower, flowers look pretty. And that was what sold me on the design. So I thought that border was really, really pretty. And the flowers, to be honest, once the border's in place, I could easily say to myself, a flower a month, and it would be done. And I would be able to tick the year of whips on. Because they are really, really easy to do. So that's the kind of... I don't know if I've got them... These are in no particular order. That's part, yeah, that's the first one. So they're all, once I've got the border done, they're all fairly easy to do. And I don't seem to have the last one. Oh, there we go, I do. Lavender, uh, rose. There we go. That's the another one. Part six. So I've got part four, part two, part three, part four, part five, part six. And there should be one more. Part seven is there we go. Faithful violet. So that's all of them. So as you can see, they're actually quite. The flowers themselves are fairly. Well, they're quite easy to do. They're kind of like a couple of day thing, but the border is quite a big border. So that's the, my plan, Main Street and that. So all a bit about the part work this time. Um, I'm not doing next month's ATC. College work is really going to be ramping up, so I, I have a feeling I'm going to be spending the odd evening or two doing college work. There's loads of school things next month and the month after. Um, including evening performances and afternoon performances of stuff and yeah, generally it's just so much stuff going on at, um, at school that it's just it's I'm not going to put myself under any pressure because school's going to give me the pressure or college okay okay um well let's move on to some Stitchy goodies, stitchy, stitchy goodies, stitchy kindness, because there's quite a bit of that too. A few bits I've bought myself. So let's go through first the few things that I bought myself. I picked these, well, they called them wooden stickers up this morning. And they are quite big. But I like the coffee cup and I like that one. Yeah, I'll just put them one on the back, kind of, um, what's it called? Plywood. Or kind of veneer y stuff. Not venereal, veneer. -y stuff. Veneered, yeah. So I just kind of, yeah, I thought maybe minders, they might be a bit big for minders, but I know sometimes with some of these bigger designs, if you're parking, bigger minders are quite, um, quite good. If not, I just thought they were a bit of fun, but I am going to make the coffee one into a minder because they're not that heavy and well, that's what I'm going to do. Got magazines. I don't know if I showed you these last time. I can't see it in my thing. I, might do. I had a quick look back at the um, whole section of my video and I couldn't find it. My jodries. So, these are the limited editions. These are April Fools. That's actually quite pretty. And then we've got... Uh, Clockwork Orange, a Dory moment, Hocus Pocus, great film, watched that the other night, 
Whale Song, loving that one. That's so my colours. And Piggy. So they came in. I also ordered some a piece of the, another piece of the Galaxy Limited Edition, but I ordered linen this time because I thought let's get a bit different. I picked up two canvases today. Literally this morning in town to do two of the um, ones. That actually comes with an easel as well. They have one without an easel or one with an easel, and I was kind of like, well, for an extra quid, I'll take the easel, even if I don't use it for that one. Kind of might be quite good for some th other things. And then we've got. Let's move those out of the way. Oh, got that little pin this morning with the intention I'm going to try and get the back off and turn it into a needle minder. If not, it's just a cute pin. Um, World of Cross Stitch. Ing. Yeah, I don't say the Ing either, Michelle. World of Cross Stitching. It's got some. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. Let's go the train and there's some dream catcher and some black work cards and panda holding flowers and I don't know. Oh, hummingbird design. Uh, design libraries under the sea. That's actually some really cute things. Uh, the cover kit was hummingbird. I don't know hummingbirds. And I'm really, actually I'm gonna, probably going to do this one because it's really, really cute. So, it comes with a little card and everything. And the design isn't actually that big. It looks. So we've got the panda. Usual stuff, letters and whatnot. Steam train. I haven't seen a steam train in magazines for a while actually. Best buys, there is a space themed alphabet. Usual arse across stitcher. Little unicorn chart. Might have to do that for my daughter. Cactuses. I like those a lot. They're kind of cute enough, but real enough. This has to be a fine line. I do like the cute cactuses and stuff as well though, but I like real looking ones. And reminds me of my nan used to have quite a lot of cactuses and, was, and my mum actually and we were both really good at growing them. I'm pretty rubbish at growing cactuses. Um article on Emma Congdon, which is nice. Um so what did she design then? Okay, I've not actually got any of the designs at that point, so maybe I'll come across one. Um, sea themed do design library. Dreamcatcher. I'm really pleased this month. There seems to be an awful lot more projects stitched on um, even waves and things, which is really nice. Because I do sometimes think that the magazines, the British magazines, only stitch on Ada with DMC. I do wish they would do some other threads sometimes. Black work cards, quite nice. Lizzie Taylor did a set like that as well. Um, yeah, I do wish they would sometimes show some ones that aren't stitched on. Stitched in, no. It'd be lovely to see some couple of designs with weeks and things like that. Or even just one or two, a bit like how um, Oh, what do you call it? Like some of this, some of the CCNs, like the Main Street only has, has two. Crescent colours that aren't crescent colours, those ones. Which is really nice, I get to use two of them. You get, it's not a massive outlay of money, because I know that in Britain this is really quite expensive. Um, as are they in some other parts of the world too. Um, so... But just remember, if you're in the States and get cheap threads, we've got better chocolate. Shannon, what's the chops? And, ah, there's the Emma Congdon design. Sweet bee. I like that, that's cute. Oh, 
considering it doesn't look like there's masses of colours, there are actually quite a lot of colours in there. So, next month, nice designs next month. So once again, it's stopped me from cancelling my subs. Okay, let's chop that over there. Uh, cross stitcher came as well. Three a month. Three magazines a month. Awesome cover kits. I'm just so kind of like on cover kits. I might not see girls, maybe the plague of the town when they try and steal your sandwiches out of your hand. But I love that. That is going to be stitched very soon. So I love that. So it's super, super cute. And then there is a camper van card. Again, we'll want, well, with a, a, a paper, a cardboard button, but isn't that cute? And it's not a masses of stitching in that. So my plan is to do two, both of those, both make some sachets. Um, you know Look at that. Next month's free gift. Oh! Can't wait for that. Well, free. Are they free? They come, they come in the cost of the watch it don't they so yeah that's that one little cushion which is so cute love that can't wait to stitch that even my husband was like oh that's very you good old there we go there's some months and there's some more there so let's do a very quick flip flip through so the usual kind of what's trending what's out there a uh, little homes and watson I can't show you a picture of, but um, some a new columnist they have, a uh, little called Jessica Savage. Oh, she does stitch people. She's the designer, designer, designer for stitch people. That's actually really quite a cute cushion. They've done these before. So that's pretty cute. Nice big clear chart as well. Um, some little, they're supposed to be necklaces, but and they've stitched them on forty count over one, which I was kind of, which kind of for cross stitcher kind of blew my mind that I'd happily stitch on forty count over one. It just it wouldn't bother me. Well, I've never tried, but I, you know I like I, I'm happy stitching over one. Um, but the fact that they actually had something to do that was kind of a bit of a moment. My money's on that light. Is that one? Owl and the Pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. My money's on it being a Doreen Jones. Could be wrong. Nope, I am right. Doreen Jones. Savvy Stitcher is stitching on perforated tags, little strawberries. And covered buttons and jam pop covers. All of which can be bought from Willow Crafts. Uh, Willow Fabrics. Funny that. Licorice all sorts. I love the jelly spogs. Oh, they are my favourite. What else we got? Cross stitcher correspondence. Uh, second part of our Afghan. Um, which is a lion, a hippo and a I need to say giraffe, but it's a zebra. I think I know what giraffe. Oh, and then we've got monkey, owl, camel, and... I don't know. I'd argue. It kind of looks like it's a husky. But... That's not a particularly jungly kind of animal. So maybe it's supposed to be a raccoon, although it's not got the black bits around the eye. I don't know what it is. Monster letter library. <gasps> More cacti. Smaller ones. They're quite cute. And then... Pop art inspired cushion. That's actually quite cool. If you get away with stitching just one of those. There's only what, 60 by 60 the uh, blocks. The letters page and then the challenging, the challenge one that they did with the three designers was 
um, a piece of Ada band and to make it into a key ring or something strap, something like that. They're quite cute, got all the patterns for those. It's quite a cool idea actually. Key fob. Uh, the summer calendar, uh, summer sampler. That's really sweet. a lot so and that's next month I can't wait to stitch that bee it will not be a what's it won't be a needle case but it will be something and that is fabulous and then as you as I said last time I was in the magazine last month which magazine was I in crazy oh hang on yep so I had a little note from Heritage Crafts thank you for, thank you for taking part winning the stitch and chat prize in cross stitch crazy and won this kit. Not really my thing, but kind of like the owls. They're quite cute. Wouldn't stitch the hearts. Despite the fact it looks like it's on even weave, it's actually on aid up. But never mind. And then they sent their catalogues. So where are we at? Which brings me to, oh, hang on. It's been sat here, been staring at it long enough. Not the contents, but I got this basket. Oh, can't. Picked up this basket in the local charity shop and I'm kicking myself because they had two, but I didn't think my husband would approve. And he went, no, I think it's a great idea. You should have gotten both of them. And then I didn't have a chance to get back and get them, get the other one and it's gone, so I checked today. But hey, three quid, jobs are good and holds on my smalls. Super happy, it was filthy. I think it was definitely used for plants. Um, or outside or in a porch or something like that. But I've cleaned it up. Gave just gave it a really good wash, to be honest. And now it's full of all my, that's full of my spring things. And next week I shall be putting all the summer stuff in. But it does mean I'm gonna have to stitch a lot more. But I'm super pleased with it. So I've been looking at them for ages trying to find one and I like that it's quite small and it sits on my fireplace so yay so almost best new thing certainly was best new thing last week best new thing this week I'm gonna go with this week because yeah Monday best new thing since Monday I think it's still not focusing particularly well. No, can't do it. Gilmore Girls magnets that the fabulous and wonderful and generous Dawn Frosty X, X Stitch, I can't even say it, sent me to have with my Gilmore Girls inspired um, Main Street. And I was overwhelmed and these are absolutely fabulous and they've come from a seller in the States and I can't remember what the seller was called because I've put my, I've put the slip away that came with it. And aren't they awesome? I was only saying to my husband, Sunday, I really want a Luke's needle minder. And now I have one and I love them. I love them very much. Love them. So they've all been just sat on my magnet board. I just put them on there just to show you. So um, they've only got standard black ma uh, magnets on. So they're not actually going to not overly strong but i'm sure by the time i stick a normal uh, uh, rare earth magnet on the back they'll be fantastic so thank you dawn they are fabulous and i love them very much indeed and i've already planned which one goes with which um which chart so that's my gonna be my gazebo one obviously that's gonna be for luke's when i do one of the bake that when i do one of the bakery ones, I'll use one of the two coffee ones. That's going from, in, I'm going to put that one straight on it when I'm ready to stitch because that's going for my Dosi's one because it's green, same as Dosi's market colours. And then, yes, so, and then I should just keep swapping them around. 
so thank you dawn i love them very much i do right better pick some winners i'm sorry i haven't posted any charts last time because i forgot and kate i know you're still waiting for your one from two ago and i just found the envelope so i'm really really sorry and i know you've sent me your address and actually the thing's address and it just got put away sorry i'm rubbish with posting stuff big post run post office tomorrow um yeah right winner winners cat crazy creations Heather, um, Link is my homeboy. See, it's a totally it's a good thing I didn't post them. And Dawn, you've got the floral charts. So those are the winners. Thank you very much for all those who commented and everything last week. It's lovely to have all your comments. Um, some really nice conversations going on. Um, comments on people who I didn't know watched, and that's really exciting too. So um thank you to everyone who's watched um who new subscribers who are joining in with us now um i'm really pleased to have you all on board and especially those who've stuck with me since the start thank you very much right more summer chart books so um it's got a little kind of florally alphabet let me try and find one it's got yeah, so those in there. It's got all the letters, and they're really quite cute actually. Owls and birdies. That's actually what's on the cover. And I can't turn the last page. And the best of British. Because apparently we have what on earth is that? Uh, tea, cakes, coffee pot, um, a union jack, well of course, some flowers, and I do not know what that is. Somebody tell me what that's supposed to be. Because I haven't got a clue. That. So, what have I got? Okay, chart book. That'll do for that chart book. Um, passion, passion name Ricamo. Is that how you say it? Passion Ricamo, something like that. Uh, what's she called? Summer Lady. How appropriate. There we go. Summer Lady. So I would like to stitch the Summer Lady. And even though spring's almost gone, I'd like to stitch Ickle Ted. So we got Ickle Ted, it's all got stuff. The and this is massive. I'm gonna warn you now. It is Uh, they had the stitch count. I've lost the stitch count. Um, 239 by 208. It's big. So what? Michelle, if you were doing this one, that's not your thing, but if you were doing this one, what, 20 minutes? So, um, Summer Lady chart book. There we go. That's those. Did I do plans? Did I? I don't know. Plans? Oh yeah, I did. Make some, do some stitching, make some stuff. Uh, yeah, so we'll see whether I do that and get the last of the... I've still got a week left on my FFO mania. So we'll see whether I get those done. Um, shout outs. Let's do some shout outs. Let's do one shout out. Express Life, T Express Life Tifa. Oh, she's so funny. And she makes fantastic quilts and stitches really really cute and pretty things really really quickly so go and check her out um i think she's on video number six uh i caught her on video number six and then binged a the lot of them because she's just fab and giggly and jo a joy to watch um yeah so go and watch her i'm gonna go and do some college work 
got four hours till I'm going out. Hopefully I can get some work done once I've put away my explosion of stuff on the dining table because I need to work here. Right, have a fabulous fortnight and I will see you in June. Happy stitching friends. Bye bye.